Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo South. Now, you might be wondering what's on the menu. And if you get that reference, please let me know, because it would make me very happy. <laughs> but I'm sure the thumbnail and the title have already given you the answer to that question. Folks, the voting made it crystal clear. The comments made it a little bit more murky, if I'm completely honest. But I think we have to do something that we've been waiting on, that many of us have been waiting on, since before this season even started. We've been wondering, we've been thinking, we've been planning and plotting and considering when we're finally going to get around to adding Africa. And it's got to happen today. Uh, again, I've seen all of your comments as well as I always do, so just as a reminder, if you're enjoying the series and you do want to see it continue, please do not hesitate to keep letting me know. Leave those likes and comments down below, folks. They do make a massive difference. Again, I look at the numbers for a quick read, but I also take a look at the uh, comments. I read through each and every one of your comments to get an understanding of what people are interested in, what people are liking, what they're not liking, what I should do next, etc., etc., and I'll be honest, I've enjoyed this uh, very direct input style of the uh, the polling. So I'd be curious to hear uh, what y'all feel about that as well, because it's been giving me a really good idea of what people would like to see. When I feel like I could go either way, uh, I feel like it's a good way to kind of go about it and uh, and, and again, get a, get a feel for what, uh, what people feel. Uh, so yes, based on that voting and based on your comments... Um, there was obviously a fair bit of back and forth and, and preference from different people. That's just you know, how, how voting works, I suppose. Uh, but the ultimate decision is yes to actually just start a little bit, only ever so slightly begin our uh, Africa section, which I forgot how far it is from. I was hoping I'd uh, I'd, I'd make it all the way over <laughs> to the Africa section, as I said, Africa section for dramatic effect. But oh my God, this is a uh, oh boy, this is it's a big zoo. You know when you kind of when you really get down here and 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 and. Well, Went, went right through that, guys. Okay. Sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, when you really get down to, like, um, eye level and, and walk around the zoo, you really get an Africa section. Did that work? Um, you really get an idea of how big the zoo is. It's massive. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, I, I, think, I think it's finally time. We've been talking about it for so long, so I'm super excited. I've got a plan for it. I, I, I Look, I know it's super predictable, but I can't help myself with this one thing, so please forgive me. Uh, hopefully, though, we can do it justice. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to do that, and then next session we will do our Beauty Pass. Now, the Beauty Pass has been a long time coming, uh, but giving it just a little bit more time allows me to uh, get some of my ideas really kind of sketched out. I've got some plans... I just want to kind of solidify them in my head, and I feel like the uh, time between now and the next session will allow me to do that, and then I can comfortably, uh, you know, get get the, uh, the maybe we get some lighting going, get the uh, navigation, uh, the wayfinding system in here as well. Uh, ho definitely getting the sponsor boards in, because I want to get those up. We, you know, I don't want to leave that for too long, and next thing you know, we've got 100, and... I want to do that next session for sure, 100% guaranteed. So next session is for sure, 100% guaranteed, uh, a beauty pass. Um, but uh, but yeah, today we're going to be adding a new animal uh, to the Africa section, uh, as uh, as I've already said and uh, repeated myself three times and the thumbnail and all have shown as well. Uh, but before we dive into that, I want to do a couple of things, uh, a couple of quick management things and we'll dive into it. It shouldn't take us very long for these little management things. Uh, the first thing I want to touch on is actually I'm still torn about the name of our new kangaroo um our a8375re over here um so initially based on your comments from not just last session but the session before that as well i was gonna go with uh, skippy um because skippy is uh, apparently a very common term for uh or is a very very famous i guess uh kangaroo uh from Australia, like famous kangaroo in the sense of like a, a TV show character, if I understand it correctly, if I recall correctly. Um, and I was going to I was going to go with that. But then came another suggestion uh, for Yonga, which I am almost certainly butchering the pronunciation of. Uh, but that is a um, rather un that is uh, why I keep doing that these days. That is an indigenous term uh, for the kangaroo. And I cannot remember uh, the name of the people right now off the top of my head, so you'll please forgive me for that. Uh, but uh, but I'm torn between those two names. I haven't picked one yet. 
as always, I'll look through the comments. I don't think I'll throw up a poll this time, but I will look through the comments, try and try and get a feel for it. But uh, I mean, I'm torn both ways because both of them uh, make reference and sort of pay homage to our uh, not just where our zoo is, but also, you know, of course, the uh, the enclosure itself in two different ways. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. I do. I like I like both names for for many reasons. Um, but uh, let me know. Let me know down below. Basically, as, as always, I'm always so indecisive when good ideas come through. I mean, it's not like I've tossed out the idea of red as a reference to Red 5. For those of you that don't know, because I saw your comments, Red 5 is Luke Skywalker's call sign. Um, and it has a bigger history than that, but it's a big it's it's a it's a big deal in Star Wars world. Um, but yeah, that's that's that taken care of. Um, let's move on from that and take a look at the llamas here. It's been suggested that the keepers are still not able to access the rest of the enclosure. But I'm not sure if we have any evidence of that. If we take a look at cleanliness, it looks like, aside from a little poop over there, it looks like everything is pretty clear. 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 clear or clean. Either word works, but together. Together, not so much. Again, I apologize if I sound a little, uh, <laughs> you know. Tired, I guess, as I put it last session. Uh, the adventures continue with Crusader Kings and the new guide videos you're seeing on the channel. So it is, uh, it is, it is taking up. Uh, it's been, it's been long days for the last three or so weeks. So I apologize if I fumble some words here and there, uh, as I, as I always apologize. Um, but yeah, it looks like everything's clean, so we should be fine in terms of keepers being able to reach everything. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, um, we can actually also check. Well, they're probably just using their uh, enrichment food enrichment items instead. Yeah, see, uses in the last 12 months, nine times. That means it's been filled and used and filled and used. So so the keeper is even able to get all the way down to here. So we know our little rock bridge is working. But thank you for pointing it out. It is very important to point that kind of stuff out because sometimes when I'm in the middle of, you know, recording commentary and all that stuff, things like that slip by me. But it looks like we're good. So thank you. Uh, but we are, we are, we're good, which is great. Um, the other thing I wanted to check on was, if I can just find my notes over here. Right. Of course. Of course. Which one is it? Yep. Oh my god. How do I... <laughs> this isn't the first time I've done this, is it? This isn't the first time I've done this. It's okay. We have... Um. So last session, I uh, I tried to be... Uh, uh, well, I shouldn't say I tried to be cheeky, but I thought it'd be easier to put some of these exhibit animals away uh, for trading using this screen instead. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is great. But I completely... I was completely blind to the fact that animals in the trade center are listed here as well. So, you know, great. I should have filtered that. Still a good method, but I should have filtered that. Anyway, what I need to do now, though, is actually, I'm glad I noticed this. So we've got, oh man, these iguanas are great. These iguanas are great. Uh, let's go ahead and remove, I think, you two from the equation. That way we'll have a male. No, that's two males. There, let's do that. So we have two young males, a slightly older female. Uh, and that we will still have more babies coming. I just want to, I want to maintain that high appeal for as long as possible. And I'm worried that Tenok is getting up there. Um, in fact, we can go ahead and check here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go over here. Check your Zoopedia. Tenok is eight years old, I think it was. Virility or death is at 14. Oh, okay. We still have time. We still have time. All right. We got time. In that case, let's go for... Uh, I gotta do this again. I wish there was like a back button. Yeah, I got them so used to the Crusader Kings 3 user interface and user experience, which is one of the best um, for such a complicated game with so many menus and stuff that uh, I can't help but kind of like make it a bit of a gold standard. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and we'll let Tenak and... Oh dear. Tal Oh no, I can't even begin to... I'll, oh no, I, I can't even begin to do this one. This is a, this is tough. It's a long name too. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn that in my off time and try and nail that. That's going to be my personal challenge to try and nail that name before she passes away. Uh, but yeah, the other two, we can go ahead and send you to the Trade Center so they'll be a little bit happier. Uh, yes. And let's go ahead and get those Titan Beetles back out. Oh no, I think I've actually gotten rid of all of them. Uh, I think that's the uh, that's the issue. Is I've gotten rid of all of them. Titan Beetles. Yes, fantastic. Well done, party. Well done. 
top tier zookeeper. Um, oh, Enrique. Good stats. Uh, no, okay, hold on. Wait, let's not get distracted by Enrique over here. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for the Titan Beetle. There we go. The T, exactly where you'd expect it to be. Margarita, you cannot say no to a name like that. And we've got, let's see what we've got over here. Hmm. Well, I guess we gotta get Ricardo, right? Everyone else is... <laughs> right. Uh, go ahead and send you to the zoo. Over to the Titan Beetles. And I gotta redo the education and everything as well. Um, gotta do this song and dance again. Gotta exhibit animals. Where is our other... Uh, yeah, Margarita needs to be sent over. Why? 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 Every, everything that can go wrong right now is going wrong. Murphy's Law. Okay. Hold on. Hang in there. We got this. We got this. We'll, this, will, this, will, this will be fine. Everything's okay. Uh, exhibit training there. Do it, do it the easy way. Margarita. I'm glad, I'm glad you had such an iconic name. Easy to remember. And, and replace it. Uh, all right, cool. There we go. <laughs> Both of them are now in here, right? Yes, they are. Excellent. That was more of a challenge than I expected to be. Go ahead and get these assigned. We also want to make sure we get our speaker up top assigned. On the bright side, at least I'm remembering all these little things. All right, so that's that taken care of. That's most of the management stuff, if I'm not mistaken. We've got ourselves our... Uh, oh, there's one more thing, but I think I'll leave that for either our time lapse or, or after. Uh, we'll have a slight detour into Pachamama's garden, potentially. Um, the other thing is we've got... I mean, I'm going to put down some more vendors. Um, I'm going to also... I think I still need a name for the uh, the pip shot water over here. I don't have one noted down, so uh, please keep those coming. I will add some more vendors. I do also want to get um, vending machines up top. And actually, that was a great suggestion that came through. Um... To, uh, to get these vending machines around the upper ring because then guests are likely or they have more of a reason to come up over here and uh, and and you know explore this space so let's go ahead and get the uh, is that a pip shot juice oh I guess that's just a pip shot vendor right it sells all the pip shot stuff wonderful okay so let's go ahead and get um I mean what would I what, where would I want them to go I, I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to put them over here we have trash cans. We do not. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Let's get you over here. There's a pip shot. That's water and juice. Uh, let's go ahead and get some food down too. Um, oh, some ice cream is not a bad idea. Oh, I see. You got big ones and small ones. Cosmic cow milk. Just a milk vending machine. Oh, that sounds... kind. That's an adorable... I love the design work, but uh, that sounds kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. Just a milk vending machine out here in the heat in the 42 degrees. Oh, man, I don't know about that. I mean, of course, it's got cooling and stuff, but I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> that's okay. So we got water. We got that. We got let's get some food in here as well. Um, how about how about Missy? Good. This is like a lot of sweet tooth stuff over here. I think I want to balance it out. So the, the thing is, I, I will be doing vending machines, but that's not the end of vendors for me. I, I think I still want to do vendors. Um, I, I want to still have, uh, you know, the, the fun of building a vendor stall and things like that. So we're certainly still going to be doing that. Um, let's also go ahead and get ourselves a bin over here. What do the Australia bins look like? Australia. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I like that. That's that's very nice. That's that's what I'm talking about. See, not gaudy, very kind of... Obviously, it's appropriate still. Has some nice colors to it, but it's not like the... Um, yeah, yeah, it's just like not gaudy. I like that a lot, actually. Very on point. Very on point. Very happy. There we go. Repair you down, because... God knows people can't move five steps without throwing something somewhere. I wonder if I need to put down do not feed signs as well, actually, now that I think about it. The answer to that is, well, I think we already know the answer to that question, don't we? Just put these down. I've got a little pattern going on over here, so might as well just do all that. Get you over here. Yeah, there we go. And I wonder if I want vending machines on here and over here, and that way folks are kind of going around the bend over here, checking everything out. Um, where are we? We're looking at facilities, vending machine... Uh, let's go ahead and get some food up here. Uh, so let's go ahead with the hot dog squad. Go in with the chief beef. 
Chief Beef or... I was going with the Chief Beef, sure. Yep. And let's go ahead and get ourselves a Gulpy machine as well. And uh, I do have plans for some more vendor stalls for coffee and for... Um, this is a little... Let's just let's do this. Uh, for coffee and for... Uh, uh, for an info center too. I, I've got I've got more plans, but for now they should help uh, you know force people to kind of move around and explore the area a bit more. It'll be nice to see it a bit more active. Uh, but that's uh, again an excellent suggestion. I've been wondering like where to put down vending machines and stuff, and y'all have come through with some great suggestions. I'll be implementing them over time, but this one I wanted to hop to right away. Uh, be I wanted to hop to right away because um, I just felt like. I want to see more activity up over there, um, especially because today's time lapse will actually probably have us uh, toying around with that uh, with that area a bit as well. Even though we're doing Africa, we're going to be toying with that area a bit as well. You'll see why it all makes sense. Now, before we do dive into the time lapse, I want to quickly do our like new little thing. I, I really like this. I, I wish I wish I wish I'd done this more regularly. I'd done it at the beginning of this. Um, playthrough like season one episode one and stuff and then suddenly it sort of kind of like fell off over time so really glad people enjoyed it during our you know dlc you know welcoming episode now i guess it's a staple y'all let me know if you keep liking this if you don't uh but uh, but i'm definitely uh, i'm enjoying reading like this and i prefer to do it before so we don't have the mishap we had with the jaguars where um you know we didn't have enough water for them and stuff so the west african lion is what's on the menu, so to speak. Um, hopefully it won't be a boring time lapse. Because it's not just a mere cat that we're adding. Oh my god, these are terrible. Okay, come on. Uh, population in wild is 250. That is no way. I mean, this number contradicts that number, but I, I guess... Oh, it's the West African line specifically. Wow, critically endangered. That's an understatement. 250. Can you imagine that? You, that's like, that's smaller than a village. Significantly. Oh my god. Although there are an estimated, uh, estimated 20,000 lions in the African wilderness today, the West African lion, or Panthera leo leo, numbers far, far fewer. Only 250 still remain across the entire continent making the subspecies one of the most threatened of its kind in the world. It currently falls under the critically endangered conservation status. Oh, that is... terrifying. I knew it was bad. I didn't realize it was that bad. 250, that is not a joke. I mean, none of this is a joke, but you know what I mean. 250. The reason for the lion's dwindling numbers is twofold. Firstly, they have succumbed to the devastating effects of poaching, no. Secondly, the ongoing conversion of their habitat has disrupted their way of life, which has finally resulted in dwindling numbers of prey available for them to hunt. Their decline has spurred on a conservation effort to protect the remaining population, including one establishment of major national parks around the lion's hunting ranges. The key aim being to monitor their continued reproduction and survival. To an untrained eye, West African lions look familiar to other subspecies of lion. Game calling me out over here. <laughs> a rich and sandy colored fur deeply darkened tail tuft, and the unmistakable manes boasted by the impressive males. However, the group is a genetically distinct subpopulation of the species, meaning they will never mate with any other types of lion they may encounter in life on the sub-Saharan plains. Really? That's actually really interesting. Um, in terms of, uh, like, they, they will not mate with any other type of lion. That's... It makes perfect sense. I just didn't know that they were so divided, I guess. But cool. Okay, interesting. Also, I just noticed that uh, they spell color the American way. Um, where to go? Where to go? There we go. Colored. Yeah, that's huh, weird. Interesting. I just noticed that. Aren't they a UK company? Anyway, besides the point. Uh, they are, yes, very much where we're, uh, where we're about to be. Um, 705 meters square is the land requirement, 80 to 40 degrees Celsius. So actually, it gets too hot in uh, in this part of Australia, apparently. Uh, we might need some coolers to keep things in the middling kind of temperatures. You know, the middling temperatures of 35 degrees. 705 meters square. So what are we looking at in terms of size? This thing is 3,256. So not that big. 
like half that size maybe all right cool i still want to give them a nice grand uh you know space they are they are or welcoming what's welcoming you into the africa section so they have to be quite grand uh, where were we zoopedia get you back open all right cool 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 grade three climb proof need to remember that higher than three meters i'll have to do a little quick conversion for that species data so a male bachelor group size, female bachelor group size, wow, that can be huge. But a group size excluding juveniles is 2 to 30. Up to 1 male, up to 29 females. Okay. Maybe we are going to go with a massive um, space here because I wouldn't mind having 30 lions. Uh, dominance is male. Mating system is promiscuous. Relations with humans is confident. <laughs> can guests enter habitat? No. Um, okay, life expectancy is 14 years. Maturity at 3 years. Sterility at 15 Number of offspring per event is 1 to 3. Gestation is 3 months. Interbirth is 36 months. Wow, and reproduction is easy. Well, that's promising. Is that accurate to... I hope that's accurate to real life, because then that 250 with some rehabilitation we could work on, right? Social needs. West African lions are truly social creatures. A wild pride has a defined hierarchy that is comprised of the alpha male, one or two beta males, several related females, and lastly, their young cubs so cool man it's so cool um <laughs> the group is playful with one another and rarely ever turns aggressive unless the alpha male is provoked by a rival male there are also young males who do not manage to find a pride with the traditional hierarchy these bachelor lions often form small groups to hunt and travel with that's so cool lions are so cool they're they're like their social structure is just so fascinating to me uh in some ways it is so human like the bachelor lions who form small groups just it makes me think of like ronin um I, and then obviously the rest of it just makes me think of a king with their dukes and counts i don't know anyway it just it's fascinating to me reproduction in a lion pride the alpha male of the group mates with the mature females who will be pregnant for 3.5 months and usually have a litter of two to three cubs the young lions themselves mature differently depending on their sex the males will leave to acquire their own pride as they grow older, while the young females will remain with the mother. If the alpha male is ousted or killed by his challenger, the newly dominant lion will kill the cubs that are not his. This is because the pride's females will only mate while they do not have cubs to look after. Oh, damn, I didn't know that. Oh, how interesting. Man, I love I love this game. I love Zoopedia. Well done, honestly. Uh, we've got their processed meat, obviously, that's tier one, and everything else is unlocked already. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then no, no interspecies enrichment. Really? They don't get along with, like, zebras or zells? Yeah. Um, we're good here. Um, we just dive on in. I suppose we just dive on in. That's enough of an introduction and enough of my uh, inane ramblings and looking at uh, old things we have to manage. Any major alerts over here? I think we'll be fine. Oh, vet research complete. I'm guessing that's for the kangaroos. And also for the Jaguar. Okay, excellent. Now, the Red Kangaroo, actually. Let's go ahead and see if we can't up their food grade. And then we'll... Wonderful, let's do that. Uh, oh, actually, this reminds me. So many of you pointed out that I've, uh, I'm have i looking at them too early to find their... To catch their... The birth happen. Uh, that's not that, that's not what I was looking for last session. I If you'll recall, uh, the first thing I caught a glimpse of as I panned over to the Kangaroos uh, was, uh, was little Joey sticking its head out. And the mother looked like it was, or the mother looked like she was kissing the Joey or interacting with it. Uh, so I wanted to catch that animation again. Because even though the Joey's not born yet, you can still see it, which I think is super cool. Uh, you can still see interactions during the birth period, and that is very on point. So I wanted to try and catch that. And we did catch that. We saw the Joey stick its head out um, briefly at the end of last session. So that's why I was uh, kangaroo watching. Uh, I, I know the, 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 the birth dates, the expected um, births are still, you know, well, now they're a bit closer, but at the time they were still quite far away. Um, but, uh, but there's lots to see, uh, between now and then as well. Anyway, on the topic of lots to see folks, let's go ahead and add lots to see up over here. Very excited for this time lapse. It's been a long time coming. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's as, a, as I often and almost always say, it's time lapse time. All right, everybody, this time lapse is absolutely intense um it is i think it's actually the longest time lapse in elitsu south at the very least it might be up there with elitsu north as well competing with some of those really early episodes uh but no I, I it's definitely i think the longest we've got 
in uh, in Elite Two South, and it's because we accomplish a lot. I'm actually really happy with the time lapse. I hope you all are as well. As always, there's still work to be done after it is done, but the amount of work we get done is uh, is. Uh, I mean, I I I'm really happy. It's a nice way to kick off the weekend. I would say. Um, but yeah, the, the first order of business here is to kind of set up the uh, the terrain for the Africa Plateau, if you will. Like I said, Africa is going to be on sort of an elevated uh, platform of sorts, if you will. Uh, so just kind of like laying the, the groundwork. God. Laying the groundwork for uh, for that out before, uh, before you know, getting too adventurous with, uh, with putting down decorative elements and whatnot. And I mean, as it just so happens... Uh, we're gonna have a circle to bring people into uh, the Africa section as well. So now each of our regions has at least one massive circle. Uh, so you know, I guess that's uh, a little bit of an extra uh, element of uh, of unification across our zoos uh, spaces. Really struggling with getting this shape right, as you can see. Uh, we get there eventually, though. Don't worry, we we get there eventually. It just takes me uh, I don't know why it takes me so much effort, um, but. That's only a small part of, of what we're tackling today. So the idea is you you, you come in, there's going to be a nice big sign over here and stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm actually thinking of keeping that tree in the middle over there. I think it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get back in on that in, in just a moment. I did mention that we might touch on Pachamama's garden during this time lapse. And so we are actually doing that really quickly. Um, I mainly came down here because I want to tackle something else. But on the way to that something else, I realized, hang on a second. Let's go ahead and deal with this right now. So it's all kind of done in one fell swoop so i got a suggestion in the comments of the previous episode i believe it was that was basically like you know the stress issue is going to keep going on and on um i think it's just time to call it and uh, and put up some one-way glass and uh, I, I think i think that's a very accurate uh judgment call i think we're going to see the animals stressing out so much it's not because of um their own social uh well-being or too many adults or anything like that that's a separate indicator uh, the game specifically told us it was because of stress, which means there's too many people watching. Uh, so it seems like the latest update has maybe tweaked how that works for these two animals. Uh, so let's go ahead and, you know, just solve that problem once and for all. After all, the animal's happiness is a priority. Uh, and this actually, like I said, way back when, right when we first built this space, I'd mentioned that I would like to have a covering for the space. And now, not only do we have that covering I talked about, you know, several episodes ago now, but we also have uh, a purpose on top of that as well which is the, uh, the the privacy of the uh, the animals. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with that. And the next thing I want to tackle is the monorail. Now this thing ends up taking a very long time. Um, a lot longer than anticipated. And uh, part of me... Part of me regrets tackling this first. But the reason why I tackled this first is because of the very concern that I ended up tackling uh during this 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 time lapse so i i guess as much as i say i regret tackling this first i i actually don't because had i not tackled this first we would have so many issues when the time finally came to to get the uh the the, the monorail in and and it would just it would be a nightmare so i'm very glad we went around you know what we about it this way actually um but yeah the, the I, this again this has been an idea for a very long time the, the, you you kind of climb up top over here Camp Capuchin, you get onto the monorail ride, and that'll take you to you know, all of the sections, uh, to at least either the entrance or an interesting point of uh, all of the sections. And um, I figured let's go ahead and get that done. Let's go ahead and see what kind of heights and and things like that we have to deal with with the with, with the tracks. I want to make sure it lines up properly when you arrive in Africa. I want to make sure it lines up properly beyond that as well. And I want to make sure that we're able to build a full loop because otherwise we're going to be well, it's going to be trouble the only way to put it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so just putting that down really quickly and just trying to make the shapes as pleasant as possible, as nice as possible, trying to make things as symmetrical and clean as possible. It, it does provide a bit of a struggle in some points, as you can see over here right now, but I think it's well worth it. I, I, I don't know, something has come over me over this last, uh, um, over this last, I think, couple of weeks, especially, where it's just like, Every once in a while, I'll be like willing to to let the game bend me, and I'll just be like, okay, fine, you can have it your way, game. Uh, but with this time lapse in particular, I think I was just, I was just like, no game. You listen to me now. <laughs> I'm the captain here. So it's just, I just couldn't, I couldn't. Um, uh, you 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 saw me struggling a little bit. It's it's wild how quickly the uh, the stop at the, the Africa section just went by. 
Uh, but I guess that's the power of the time lapse. Now over here, um, I want to make sure that we do not block the very cool kind of sun effect we have. So I'm trying to be very cognizant of that. And I also want to make sure that we're able to hide the track into the uh, the aesthetic of Pachamama's garden. We don't tackle that today, but it is something that is top of mind for me. So don't worry about uh, you know how this looks right now. I think it'll very nicely camouflage itself into the space um, because the monorail track is actually so very thin. Uh, so yeah, the loop is from uh, from South America to Africa to Australia, back down to the entrance, and then looped around to South America. It's a very nice and complete loop. You can get onto it um, right from the entrance, kind of like we did at Elitsu North as well, except instead of a you know steam train, it's a monorail track. Um, so yeah, it feels like it, I'm I'm really I'm really happy with it. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really excited to see it in action. I feel like it does the trick. Uh, and I also feel like, um, and I mentioned this after the time lapse as well, but uh, Elitsu North did have the having the steam train be above people at all times did kind of make it feel like a roller coaster ride, uh, especially because of like the way the track and stuff looks. Um, and I want to avoid that over here. I don't want it to look like a theme park. This isn't Planet Coaster, um, though I see many of you requesting that I play that on the channel as well. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I want to try and avoid that. However, monorails being on an elevated level is a thing, so I'm 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 very much fine with that. Anyway, you can see I was struggling with putting pathing down for the entrance and exit of the uh, the stop over here in the Africa section, but I could tell that in theory it would work. So I got fed up with dealing with the pads, and I was like, "Ah, listen, we'll deal with this later. Let's go ahead and focus on what will hopefully be um, my and perhaps our collective pride and joy, uh, at least of the Africa section." Uh, there's so many enclosures to be happy with already. I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased with how Elite South has been coming along, um, uh, and, and based on the comments at least, it seems like y'all are as well. Now, again, if the thumbnail, my punnage, my, uh, my uh, commentary previously didn't give it away, I'll make it crystal clear right now. We are building a Pride Rock enclosure. Um, yes, again, I know, I know, I know. It's very, uh, <laughs> I guess it's, it's sort of predictable, I suppose, but. I think I mentioned this before as well, but The Lion King and Aladdin are my two favorite Disney films. Um, and yes, I use present tense. It's not like, oh yeah, when I was a kid, they were my favorite. No, no, no. Right now, if I had to pick Disney movies to sit down and watch, it would be those. Um, they're just fantastic. Uh, I love them. I've always loved them. And so Aladdin got some representation in Elitsu North with Bagraba. Uh, and so Lion King is getting some representation over here with the uh, Pride Rock looking uh, enclosure. The honestly, those those two movies for me they alternate. It kind of depends on like what kind of mood I'm in. It's like is it Lion King today? Is it Aladdin today? Which one's my favorite right now? But those two are always competing for top spot. They're both number one. I wouldn't even say one's like number two. Uh, they're both number one in my head. But uh, but yeah, so I had to represent. Um, I, I couldn't not right. So, uh, so we've got we've got Pride Rock coming through over here. I actually end up having to build this a second time because um, I realized, like, so it, originally I used the des the desert rock, sorry, uh, to to build the shape and whatnot, and I was like, yeah, this is looking good. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should have used the uh, here it is. Here's the moment. I was like, maybe I maybe I should check the uh, the grassland rock type. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that looks a lot better. <laughs> So I kind of start over, and uh, it, it's it's the, uh, the the ship of Theseus, I believe is is the term I'm looking for, the ship of Theseus. Uh, it looks like I'm only replacing one thing, and I am only replacing one thing, but eventually I replace another part, and then I replace another part, and I keep replacing parts, and eventually we're going to end up with a completely different set of rocks, basically. I think maybe one or two of the old rocks stay behind. Uh, the ship of Theseus, I'm pretty sure that's it. The idea of the of what I'm getting at is like if you have a thing and specifically if you have a ship and the ship comes back from a trip and you have to repair it like you replace certain parts you know yeah you, you repair it you remove certain pieces you replace them and the ship goes back out comes back in you keep doing that over and over and over and over again eventually all the parts of that ship have been replaced is it still the same ship it's very interesting i like it's an interesting question is it the same ship all the parts all the individual parts uh, have been replaced, and if you 
know me and my fascination with history and whatnot. I like the idea of legacy and does that apply to things? Anyway, I'm getting way sidetracked over here. Point being, um, <laughs> I replaced a couple of the rocks and then I looked at it again. And I was like, I need to replace more rocks. I replaced more rocks. I looked at it again. I didn't like, I need to replace more rocks. Eventually, it's just, it's all going to be uh, <laughs> sandstone or, or uh, sorry, grassland rocks. Right? I guess it's called uh, savanna rocks, but grassland finds it as well. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, <laughs> a thing that happened. Uh, anyway, I mean, I'm overall pretty happy with, with it. I think it will need a lot of adjusting, though, if I'm completely honest. The thing about Pride Rock is that it is such an iconic shape that it's very easy to be like, oh, yes, that's Pride Rock. But then you look at a reference image and you go, well, actually, Pride Rock is a little bit more like this or a little bit more like that. And that's kind of what was going on with me a lot over the course of this is I, I, I kind of started this off going from memory uh, and eventually I'll try and pinpoint I'll try and pinpoint the time exactly but I forget exactly when it was but I was like, going through memory and eventually I go let me just check a reference over here because I'm pretty confident about the shape but something just feels off and uh, and it, it's pretty close but there are there are some issues uh, and I do want to fix them up I actually I fixed some of them up in today's time lapse but some I thought we'll just leave it for later because I am I am burning out on this time lapse. It's getting long. Um, but yeah, the shapes overall there. I, I think that's when I went and checked my reference. Um, that little moment there of me looking at that three quarter angle, and I realized, okay, the angle over here isn't all that correct. Uh, the the thickness of this base piece. Yeah, yeah. This is I've definitely got the reference open right now, um, and I realized like some of the shapes are just not right, and they're off, and the silhouette's a little off. But it's it's, it's kind of funny though. It's like. It's one of those things, I don't know if you ever played this game, but it's like, uh, draw a Pokemon from memory. Like someone will say a name and then you just like, from memory, you just like draw it. Uh, I feel like you can do the same thing with, with, you know, things like this. It's the same idea. It's just like, you remember the, um, the, you know, like iconic elements, but the precise details that make something what it is, obviously are easy to forget, right? Um, but yeah, here you can see me fixing the silhouette. I just, I don't know, I, I'm very pleased with it, I'll, I'll be I'll be forthright, I'm very pleased with it, uh, with the overall shape of it, the overall structure of it, but I think it needs a little bit of finessing. I also feel like it works better at this kind of like three-quarter angle from the entrance, because head-on, you just like, what am I looking at? It's just this like, megalithic structure, it's like, what am I looking at? But with the three-quarter angle, as you come around the bend and you come past that tree, it's like, oh wow, massive, awesome structure. Um, now, making a couple of customizations and modifications to better suit the needs of a planet zoo animal. Uh, adding a little bit of water over there. I like the natural water um, approach more so than seeing the animals drink from a tap. I, I, I try to do it natural as much as possible. Obviously, not always possible, but I try to. And over here, I'm trying to build a way to allow the lines up that top area. Of course, we absolutely need that to work. Uh, it will need some adjusting, but I want to make sure they're able to reach their, uh, their delicious meal up top. And of course, keepers need to be able to reach up there as well. Now, if the lions can reach, but the keepers can't, that's fine by me as well. I'll put a toy up there or something instead, uh, but I need to make sure that the lines are able to reach. Now, you might have noticed... Yeah, there we go. See, I'm... I'm. It's now telling me the negative impact radius, and it is bigger than I'd anticipated. Now, what I want to do eventually is build this little ramp over here and allow keepers to come up from this side. So I'm just kind of measuring my, my distances over here, just making sure that it's possible. And eventually, I want to make this connection over here and have keepers able to come up this way rather than have to go all the way around, um, you know, the, the, the front, go up the, the ramp outside of the, the crocs, and then come through here. I'd rather than do that, they just come up from back over here, use the hut and stuff below them. Uh, this actually reminds me, I can't believe I forgot to do this despite the warnings the game gave me, I need to assign this to a work zone, so I need to remember to do that next session. But um, all that pathing work aside, I undid it, because that was just me kind of testing it out, because what we're really going to do, what we're probably going to have to do, is uh, lower the all the facilities down below. So I didn't want to have the pathing already built out and struggle with that. We're just going to lower it all, and then we're going to rebuild that pathing approach. But again, I wanted to deal with that later. I wanted to get Pride Rock done over here. Uh, whatever it is, we're going to actually call the enclosure. I, I don't know if I want to call it Pride Rock. Let's let's see if we can't come up with a different name. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below. Of course, as always, any name suggestions you have, uh, what we should call the uh, the lion enclosure. Um, because, uh, yeah, always, always need a good name. Now here, here's where, and I, and I like this, I like this a lot. Our accessibility challenge, this is where it becomes, uh, where it kind of comes to life over here.
Uh, and, and to me, this is kind of like, this is the, this is the exercise in sort of my, my opinion is like, if I could use stairs here, it would be so easy. It would be super easy, but that's the point, right? That's, that's what, that's what a challenge is. Uh, so very happy that we can actually build it into a, into a ramp over here. Uh, but look at this, look, look at how, look at how this one will allow me to build a spiral. I like that shape. That's what I was hoping for. But for some reason, I can't get that with my, uh, with my Q. I don't know. I'll try and figure it out. But I was definitely running out of steam at this point, running out of fuel, running out of gas, whatever you want to call it. Running out of petrol? You don't, don't say that. <laughs> um, but, uh, but folks, I, I hope you enjoy this time lapse. There's still, of course, plenty of work to do. I want to make sure that, uh, the lion enclosure has a lot more going on in it, but I wanted to get the animals in and make sure they were happy with the terrain, the coverage, all that kind of stuff before I overdid it and then had to undo it. Uh, you know, again, the Jaguar situation was definitely a learning moment for me to be a bit more wary uh, and, and a bit more careful of that. Man, I would, this would, I would love for this to work out. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Um, but of course, we don't do that today. Folks, hope you like what we got. I um, hope you enjoyed this time lapse. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know down below. If you didn't, let me know as well. I'm excited. I, I hope you all are as well. Just going to get a couple of loose ends tied up over here. But as we do that, I just want to say that's the time lapse done. Now we go back to uh, regular speed party elite and hopefully bring the session to a nice and successful close. Will it happen? Won't it happen? Who knows? I do, but I won't spoil it right now. Back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from that time lapse. And my oh my, was it not a long time? long time lapse it's i think it might actually be the longest one we've recorded for elite zoo south our season two's uh longest longest time lapse almost certainly and of course as is tradition here gotta notice things after time lapse is done for me to go in and, and tweak and modify uh but uh, but but let's let's set that aside we got so much done i'm actually really i'm really pleased with that time lapse as i'm sure i mentioned at the beginning of the time lapse as well we got a lot in place we have our monorail in place as well, and I'm pretty pleased with its overall shape too. If this camera would just move a little bit faster here, there we go. Pretty pleased with its overall shape. It's got like, I don't know, I like how it kind of hits the curve over here. I I am I was really worried about the integration into uh, or through Pachamama's garden, but what I think we'll do is when we get an opportunity, um, I, did, I, I was I was all time lapsed out today after you know that <laughs> after this entire thing. Uh, but what we'll do is when we get the opportunity is we'll probably like add vines and stuff or find a way to integrate Pachamama's garden and the the monorail over here and uh, and have that uh, work more nicely. And then as you kind of pass underneath it, have something nice happening there too. Now I know with Elite Zoo North there were some comments about how the um uh the the travel mechanisms felt a lot like rides like roller coasters and whatnot because we had like trains that were high up and things like that um i totally hear where that's coming from and i'm definitely trying to be more cognizant of that with elite zoo south um i feel like a hill station here and there is okay for a steam train but the entire thing at elite zoo north was kind of elevated so i was trying to be more uh cognizant of that as we uh, went through this uh but with monorails i mean monorails you can expect to see uh you know up up high and whatnot so i'm pretty okay with that over here uh, but with other things we'll definitely try and keep them grounded or you know watered as the case might be with the uh, river and whatnot the riverboat thing really frustrated at why this thing wasn't working as i intended it to but we'll deal with that some other time lots of stuff to deal with some other time uh, including of course the completion of this enclosure as well maybe we'll find a way to integrate it into our beauty pass that we're doing but i'm, I'm really i'm really liking how things are coming together over here uh, and to those of you that were concerned about us going kind of back and forth and the connectivity between the two uh, places, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the the ride, as soon as we're able to open it, I'm really hoping that that ride will uh, will will solve that issue. I actually wanted to get an elevator in as well, oh, and I wanted to do that today. We'll get around to it as a part of our beauty pass, I think, because I do want to get an elevator over here, so it feels like uh, again, it doesn't serve any function, but for our own personal challenge. Uh, it would feel more easily kind of accessible to go from up over here, down over here. Um, people who are wanting to go around or pick up food and stuff will be able to do that. And then the ramp, I think, is, I mean, I've, I've tried to stay cognizant of, like, the, the limits on, like, ramps for wheelchairs and whatnot. But it's been pointed out that this might not be good enough, actually. Uh, so, so that's another reason to get that elevator in there. Multiple reasons. Plus, for people who don't want to walk all the way around just to get to the bottom, uh, you know, 
it's just an easier way to get down. So anyway, lots to think about there, lots to think about here. There's a lot to do, um, as there always is. It never ends, and that's kind of the point, right? Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to add some more details and, and do a little bit more work on the uh, the rock itself. It's so easy to... Oh, okay, hold on. I'm sure I've talked about it during the time lapse. I, 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 I don't want to belabor this point, but it's very easy to feel like the shape is right and whatnot because it's got such an iconic shape. There are a lot of little details that I want to try and nail a bit more precisely. Uh, I just didn't have the you know time or honestly energy for it right now because because uh, even getting this I uh, took a fair bit of uh, of time. But I I think yeah like overall it's very clear what we're going for. Um, but it's because of that iconic shape it's kind of easy to be like oh okay I, I know what that is. Uh, but there are yeah there are a couple little details here and there that I like to nail. But I do also want to make sure that the animal is happy with the space. And uh, as you may have noticed, we also have to worry ourselves with the negative impact of guests uh, from some of these facilities. Now it's not the end of the world. We'll be able to push these down a little bit. We'll be able to push these over a little bit so it's all inside the enclosure. In fact, I might just do that right now. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, okay, first of all, let's go ahead and get the animals. And as they're going through their quarantine and whatnot, we'll we'll make these adjustments over here. Um, a pretty expensive time lapse. Hopefully the money will be made back pretty quickly, though. Uh, what am I looking for? Animal trading. Animal trading, we are looking for the West African Lion. So W for West. There it is. Go ahead and get rid of the Jaguar, please. Don't want to get distracted on my way looking for these lions. There we go. All right. Wow. How are there so many of them? Now, okay, it's been suggested I sort by price. I sort by uh, appeal. I've been getting a lot of suggestions for, uh, for the best way to kind of... Oh, my God. The best way to kind of go about this. And uh, you know what? All right, here we go. 6,000 is really not that bad for those stats. 3,000, also really good stats. I feel like 3,200 is maybe the way to go. 6,100, 6,210. Sure, you know what? Half price, 3,270. The name like Cell. Oh, I guess they're all from the same. I need to keep an eye out for that. Make sure we don't get people from the same, uh, same zoo. Go ahead and flip the filter over here. I'm wondering, do I want a male? I mean, I want both. Okay, let, let, let's go ahead and 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 pick uh, pick you up for 3,200. That's not that bad. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and adopt you. Go ahead and move you to quarantine right away. Get ourselves another female as well with a regular oat. Really good stats over here. I'm hoping that we'll make our conservation credits back. Uh, we have so many animals in storage as well. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Uh, I shouldn't be that worried about it. Uh, let's see. Go. 1,200 over here. Well, 1,300 more like. I'd like to get a couple of variants, I guess. Uh, let's go with, with you over here. 1,500. Those are pretty good stats if I recall correctly. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, let's go with you. 1500 Definitely not the same zoo. Adopt you as well. I wasn't going to spend money on lions. What was I going to spend them on? <laughs> I knew this was going to be a conservation credit expensive episode. Uh, I have no uh, no issue with that. No qualms with that at all. Um, males now. Let's go ahead and pick. Tempting as it is, I'd like to go kind of traditional with our... Uh, I mean, I, it is really tempting, though, because it's like, I want to see what that looks like and stuff. We'll, we'll have some babies, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, we, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it. But I think I want to have a good old fashioned and a nice, dark, sandy furred male as our main attraction. Hey, God. Lionesses are. I'll be honest, I think lionesses are cooler than, than lions sometimes. <laughs> lionesses are the ones that go out on the hunt and stuff, like... Pretty baller. Um, Alright, what am I thinking here? What am I thinking here? 1,200? Yeah, let's, let's go with you. Go with you. Move you. Over quarantine. Alright, cool. That is draining our conservation credits. Absolutely draining our conservation credits. Uh, now, the weird thing actually is, I wonder what will happen when I try to move this when animals are actually in there. But we'll find out, I suppose, together right now. Let's go ahead and uh, un 
pause. Can't find accessible trade center. What happened to you? Pretty sure I stopped the moving, but we'll uh, we'll see. See what happens over here. Um, again, I'm hoping I'm hoping the animals also. By the way, the uh, at Pachamama's garden stop being so stressed out because we have got their uh, their enclosure you know tucked away now because of the one-way glass. So that should be quite helpful as well. And then that'll be a happier animal. Happier animal means more um, donations and stuff as well, right? So that should be good. Have we got them all in here? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, right. I keep forgetting that this is empty because there's, like, they don't have any... Yeah, the, it's, yeah. I keep forgetting. But it looks like they're still being picked up over here. And it looks like access is available. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Now, I mean, what I could do, actually, rather than having to move all these guys, I wonder if... Actually, let's, let's, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Um, I don't know how well this would work. But, uh, how about I go construction, let's go with sandstone, I do like how that looks. And it's, you know, underground, or, oh, oh, we could go with the, the mud, is it mud or is it clay? It's mud, I guess. I don't like that it's got, like, I don't like that there's no variant that's tall and also doesn't have the decorative element at the top there. Um, it'd be nice to have one of those. Uh, hopefully, I can do kind of a thing where I, oh, it's gonna be, gonna be a pain, isn't it? Alright, fine. Do this. Because if I can just uh, reduce the um, the distance that the penalty applies, then we might not have to move anything at all, I just realized. Uh, which would be, I would prefer that actually. I would prefer that. Now nah, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to go with the, uh, as much as I'd love to go with the mud because it's a bit more fitting for being an underground thing. I'd have to start using the decorative elements, and it just doesn't fit. Though I suppose it is in the right spot. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, now that I look at it, I don't even see a window option here. Unless I'm blind, which is possible. Nah. Alright, it's okay. Let's go ahead and swap these out for the sandstone bricks. Oops. Pop you down here. There we go. This, this, this should do the trick. Nothing too complicated. This is, you know, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Quarantines get in the past. Do none of them have windows? Gotta be. Hmm. Oh, I guess you can just use these. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I could have done the mud after all. Maybe I'll swap it out later. Right now, though, I'm, uh... I'm interested in just kind of making progress here. Don't wanna, I don't want to have gone through all this effort only to not actually get the animal in and 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 checked out and everything. That would be that would be quite the bummer. Uh, can you imagine? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that'd be terrible. That's the sight done. Go ahead, get uh, you over here as well. And there we go. Go ahead and hook you up over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice and easy. No no need to overcomplicate this. Keep it simple, silly, right? There we go, there we go. Beauty, I really hope this is making the difference I needed to make. It would save us so much, um, legwork. So much legwork. Oh, there we go, there we go. Almost done here, folks. Bear with me. Bear with me. I mean, I could have done this during the time lapse, but, um... It didn't occur to me during the time lapse. It's okay though. The the oh dear, the lion's share of the uh, <laughs> of the uh, minutia was taken care of during during our time lapse. Get over here. No, I want you to be a part of this group. You not? Okay, fair enough. Then don't be. Have it your way. There we go. Let's cover this thing up. Every little piece counts. As we've learned in the past, every little piece counts. You here. Now there's no animals up there yet, but guaranteed guests are already coming through. Just like checking out, oh what's this what's this new space? Why is there more path in here? Patient folks, patient. Are we still oh wow, we are still I guess, uh, I guess some sandstone brick walls aren't pretty enough. 32%. This can get smaller. Can get smaller. But I wonder, like, okay, how do I, hmm. I wonder. Let's see. 
I think it's determined by like the value of um, of the decorative items next to a building. Figure out how uh, how pretty it is. I find it so funny. It's like it's tucked away. It's it's literally invisible. I understand the uh, the transformer and the uh, the the power gen generator. I understand those because like yeah okay they make noise and whatnot. But but even here they're like they're underground. They're tucked away. They're hidden. I don't know. <laughs> It makes sense though. It's a it's a way to just kind of like add challenge to the game, I suppose. But all good. Wish I could uh, more easily tackle it, I suppose. In in, in keeping with the logic of uh, of the game, I mean. Still at sixteen percent. Start putting down some of these decorative elements. But that can't possibly make a difference. Oh damn, that did make a difference. Make enough of a difference. Hmm. I might need to just move these. Well, actually, hold on. Oh, it's just ever so slightly. Did an animal just escape? No, these are all quarantine paths. Alright, cool. We're just, just slightly over the edge over here. So, you know, we could definitely do this. This could definitely do the trick. Um, I want to put like a tree down or anything over here. It just seems so silly to me, you know? It's just like, it seems like... I mean, I guess to be fair, uh, well, the way we can consider it is, um... It's, uh, it's for our staff, you know, to have a nice kind of place to, to be in. Uh, a nice place to work in. And what makes a place nicer than having... Bunnies... Bow... Trees... But more of you. This will hopefully not last too much longer. I'd like to get the animal in. Do that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't want to actually put down. I and mean, I can put down some more. I'm gonna put some lighting and stuff down over here as well. It feels very awkward to me to like not have um, lights or anything. It feels very awkward to me. Down over there. Down over here. Sure, what are we looking at now? Are we getting there? Oh dear, almost missed it. That's not offspring. Alright, this, then we move the lines in and I'll deal with the uh, the negative uh, impact zone afterwards. Is uh, It'll take us some time still. I love how there's like poop physics, like the legs scattered the, the little poops out. Alright, here we go. Oh, and it got cleaned up. Good stuff. Come on now. Baby. Where's that little bundle of joy? Oh, you can see people walking around up top over there. That's nice to see as well. I'm guessing... Getting their drinks and... Oh! That was amazing! Oh my god, that was amazing! That was really nice, actually! Wow! I'm so glad we caught that. I was distracted by people walking up top. Hi, Guru Mara. Surely butchering your name. How you doing, buddy? Oh, what a cutie. Look out, lights coming on. Bam. Oh, so cute. Those ears that are too big for their face. All too familiar with that. Are you hungry? You grab it on your belly. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, it's so nice to see people up top over there as well. It's really nice that people are using the uh, the space appropriately, accurately, well. Oh, hold on a second. Before I before anything else happens, before anything goes wrong. Um, habitat, traversable area, any escape points? No. Okay, good. Alright, let's get back to business over here. Otherwise, we're never going to get these lines in. Keep letting myself get distracted by one thing after another. Let's go to our... Lions. Boom. Bring them in here. Done a set. Gonna have to work on my, my lighting and whatnot. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely... I don't know. Maybe I'm over, overdoing it. I need to uh, to make this space pretty, I guess. Uh, do I just put down some... Like a, a, like a fountain or something? I mean, I could. Not entirely out of place, I suppose. Not entirely out of place. Um... 
I guess they're gonna be unhappy for a little while. They can they can deal with it. They can deal with it. It's it's this that's the big problem, really. This that's the big problem. It's a huge negative impact space. Uh, but again, I think if we put down even just a little bit around it, we'll be okay, right? Like, I like these bunnies a lot. I wonder if that makes any difference. Five percent. We'll get to work on this stuff. We'll 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 do that at the top. It'll be a part of our uh, beauty pass. For now, I'm actually even tempted to just not allow guests to come up over here, just to not not get their uh, happiness to drop. But honestly, I'll I'll leave it be for now. Get our first line to arrive. There it is. After how long of a wait, we have our first African animal. What an absolute beauty she is. Oh my god. Oh, work zone set up. Right, right, right. Of course. Oh, there's our lion. Oh my god, what an absolute beast. Yes, look at that. Oh my god, yes. Oh, and the first... Was I not talking about how lions just lie down all day? <laughs> the first thing he does. The first thing he does. Oh my god. And there we go. Our other... Our other lioness. Beautiful. Alright, well, let's first of all, before anything else happens, check. Yes, thought so. I was 100% certain of this. Glad I checked. This needs to be higher. That ought to do the trick there. Whoops. Whoops. Come on now. There we go. Yeah. There we go. We're good. No, we're not good. Yeah, we're good. No, we're not good. Really? Oh, because these are climbable. Right, of course, of course. Okay. Right. <laughs> so glad I so glad I checked. Uh, climb proof. Climb proof. Always have a hard time telling which side has actually changed. That way, right? Yeah. Okay, that's gotta do the trick. That's gotta do the trick. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, excellent. Are they happy with the space? Rain hard shelter needs to change. The space is okay. That's good. I uh, need more hard shelter, though, so I'll need to adjust this. Coverage is all right. I would like to add some more trees and whatnot. Um, uh, they've they've paired up. Okay, fair enough. Because you can only have one alpha. I assume only the. Oh, actually, is it just the alpha male and female that mate, or is it the alpha male and a bunch of females? Uh, I don't think that was in Zupedia. I guess it could be one alpha male, multiple females. Um, I actually don't know off the top of my head. I can't remember now what I like learned previously, like previous to. On it too. Anyway, um, yeah, what was the issue over here? Too much soil. Not a feeling. Too much soil. Too little rock. Okay, well, that kind of works out because then we can uh, we can make those adjustments pretty easily. Rock very much exists around this area. We don't need too much rock, but a little bit more rock. There we go. And let's get some more long grass. That's what I'd assumed, but you know what they say about assuming, right? Need some short grass as well. Go ahead and get a little bit of that going. We have too much of a rock there. Come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and get some more rock in here. Size a bit. Just got to just over to green. There we go. I like how that looks, actually. Do this. And let's go ahead with the short grass. Lower the intensity. Up the size. That we can kind of blend it in a bit more nicely. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay, great, 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 great. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, cool. Uh, again, still a lot of work to be done over here, but at least the animals are somewhat happy. Got to increase the size of the hard shelter as well. Uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, that's not enough because it's kind of like obstructed over here and stuff. So we'll like nudge this out, maybe push some of these pieces in as well, actually. Um, that might, well, won't do the trick entirely, but it'll certainly help. Uh, just a quick kind of a little bit of work over here, 57% only. We'll get her sorted out. There we go, 80%. At least it's something. Any guys think tickets are underpriced? Yeah, you don't say. We got lions. What's up? Uh, let's go with 35 and 30. We'll see if they start complaining about prices. We'll adjust them if necessary. Now, guests, as they start coming through over here, they're going to be upset, obviously, but it'll take them some time, I think, to filter up. Looks like they're doing it right now. So before they do filter up, I think I would like to um, check something, actually. Yeah, here's the other thing we're gonna have to fix. Getting the lion to be able to climb up over here. It's gonna be an interesting endeavor. 
that's certainly not going to fix the uh, issue. But I, I definitely want to make sure that they're able to naturally climb up over there. Just take a little bit of tweaking and modifying and things like that, but we'll uh, look at there eventually. Sun is rising on a beautiful new day. We've got ourselves our lions, our lionesses. So, oh my god, so beautiful. Just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Where's our... Where's our lion here? Yeah, there he is. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Look at that. I don't even need to be, like, fully lit up over here. I just love the, the backlighting and everything and the sun off in the distance. Chilling over here. Absolutely, this game is beautiful. This game is absolutely beautiful. Of course, you're gonna lie down. What else are you good for? <laughs> Is that not beautiful? Eyes closed and everything. The level of detail in this game is, is absolutely, absolutely mind-boggling. But folks, as uh, as our lion here goes to take a nap or <laughs> fall asleep or something, I think it's time we call it a day too. Uh, it's been a long, long recording session. I'm glad we finally have made a dent into the Africa area. What we're planning on doing next session is, yes, hopefully getting that beauty pass in. Get a lot of work done. It is kind of twilight right now, so maybe we do a little bit of lighting at first and then, you know, move into the daytime and then do the rest of the beauty pass, get the sponsor boards in and stuff. And during that beauty pass, we're hopefully going to solve uh, this issue as well because it is very much, yes, an issue, but it's one that will be easily solved one way or another. Either we just lower everything or we put down a bunch of decorative elements and, and that'll do the trick. By the way, folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. Um, I'm not lying when I say... I personally did. The uh, the the addition of, of, of Africa has been such a, a, a long time coming and having this ride in as well. It's not been turned on yet because we still want to do the entrance section. Uh, but having this ride put in place is also just uh, big for me because now, now we know that this worked because I was nervous about a lot of elements of it. But folks, um, this is, as I said, where we're going to call it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.